Okay, this is for song number 11 by John Vincent III. Um, basically, this is played in, speaking of third, the it's played in thirds or tenths. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just using two strings, the sixth string, E, which is the standard tuning, by the way. So we're going to be using that E, and then we're also going to be using the third string, G, and those are the only two strings we're going to use for this song. Um, what we're going to do is we're also going to be using on the left hand our second finger and our third finger and every once in a while we're going to switch to our first finger and our third finger. So the third finger should really never leave the string. It's going to basically be sliding around and the first and second finger are going to take care of uh, individual chords. So right now what we're going to do so we're going to start with our 2nd finger on the 12th fret on the 6th string and our 3rd finger on the 12th fret on the 3rd string. That's our first uh, dyad here. And then we're going to go ahead and move down. I'm taking my 2nd finger off and switching to my 1st finger. Uh, my 1st finger is now on the 10th fret 6th string and my 3rd finger is on the 11th fret 3rd string. 2nd chord there. And then we're going to go ahead and slide all the way down now, keeping that exact same position. All I'm doing is I'm just sliding my fingers down to the 3rd fret 6th string, 4th fret 3rd string. So the beginning we have... Okay, so those, th those three chords. Then the next ones we're going to move to through. We're going to put my 2nd finger back down on the 6th string, and it's going to be on the 7th fret. My 3rd finger is also on the 7th fret. And then again, similar, similarly to the 12th fret, all I'm going to do is I'm going to move down 1 fret, put my 1st finger on the 5th fret, and have my 3rd finger on the 6th fret. And then this one slides all the way back up. And then right here, occasionally you'll hear this little thing going on. So right now I'm back up to the 10th and 11th fret, first finger on 10, third finger on 11. we got a couple of ways we can do this. We can pluck and we can kind of slide our third finger to the 12th fret or we can hammer on with our pinky. Either one of those works. Um, what we want to try and avoid if we're going to slide is to not have our first finger slide up with the third finger because then it sounds like and that's not quite what's happening it's just a and then we're going to take that and go all the way back down to the third fret first string or uh, sixth string first finger on the third fret and then third finger on the fourth fret on the third string so we've got whoops the chorus breakdown but basically it goes uh, again I'm, I'm keeping my fingers on the same string so nothing changes there we're still only using the sixth string and the fourth string um, so what I'm going to go back to is my second finger on the second fret on the sixth string third finger second fret on the fourth string and then I'm going to move back up to that G chord which is going to be third and fourth and then I'm going to move up to oops, sorry. Five and six, and then seven and seven. So I've got. And this one I kind of think of as okay, we're going to start with this, and we're also going to end with it. That same position, or same finger position. So I've got. And then quickly he moves up to this. My mistake. 12 and 12, then down to 10 and 11, and then we're going to do 9 and 9, and then we're going to go down to 7 and 7, 5 and 6, back down to 3 and 4. So we
is moving down. I haven't listened to the song enough to really have the uh, the chords down exactly where how the strumming or, or rhythm goes on that. Uh, and it's a little bit different. Uh, nice song though, I really like it and I'm glad you brought it up. It's giving me a couple of ideas for writing a couple of songs of my own in tenths or uh, thirds, whatever you want to call this. Um, basically what it is is you're playing the root note and then you're going to play the third of that note which is normally uh, found up there except it's the minor third, sorry. figure out the chords for all of these by simply finding the power chord. So if I got my first finger on the 12th fret and use my third finger on the 14th fret on the, on the A string, 5th string, I've got a power chord there and I put those three together and I've got kind of an Eric Johnson type sounding thing going on. Basically, this shape here is just saying that we're playing an E minor. Or, so if we want to strum this out. So we've got that beginning part, and then we're going to go down to... So what is that, a B? So it's a B minor. We'll go down to A, and then probably back to... D. Nope. Yep, there you go. So I hope this was a bit of a help. Um, I haven't made an actual tab for this simply because the lyrics aren't available. Uh, I haven't wasn't able to find them anywhere. So if you have lyrics for it and you want to post them somewhere, I'd, I'd be happy to tab out the rest of it or, or actually put the chords on there. Um, lyrics are a little tough. I tried listening to them to see if I could write them down and enter them but there's actually multiple voices going on at the same time, so it made it a little bit different. So I hope this video was a help, and uh, I'll probably be making more of these.